Did Senator Mitch McConnell become a multi-millionaire in public office? That is what Allison Lundergan Grimes' campaign is saying in an ad that launched today. Political reporter Theo Keith puts it through a reality check. What can happen in 30 years? In a dramatic shift from her sit down questions for Mitch ads, Mitch McConnell's entire Senate career is under attack by Allison Grimes. Let's look at the claims. A senator can become a multimillionaire in public office. While it's true that independent watchdogs report McConnell is worth $22 million, enough to be the 10th wealthiest senator, he hardly arrived there through his Senate salary. McConnell's marriage to Elaine Chow, whose family is wealthy, is the main reason. In 2008, McConnell reported between $5 and $25 million in a tax-exempt money market fund. Chow had received that money as inheritance from her family. Now let's go through the attacks on McConnell's record while voting 17 times against raising the minimum wage. This is true, but McConnell's not running from his view that a minimum wage hike is bad policy. Three times for corporate tax breaks that send Kentucky jobs overseas. We rate this true, but the votes in question were on Democratic sponsored bills to give companies tax breaks for moving jobs back to the U.S. The issue became a political football for both sides late in three election years. And 12 times against extending unemployment benefits for laid off workers. And when asked about it, just laughs. This is not the whole story. The reference is to a January interview McConnell did with conservative talk radio host Lars Larson. Here's how it ended. We, we wish you well and we wish the people in Kentucky well, and I hope you vote no on extending unemployment benefits, <laughs> at least for the long-term unemployed. I appreciate yeah. it. Hey, Thanks, Senator. Lars. Before that, McConnell makes a policy argument. He says if lawmakers want to extend unemployment benefits, they need to find a way to pay for it. McConnell's offer? delaying the individual mandate that's part of the national health care law. I'm Theo Keith with this Wave 3 News Reality Check.